guys, how you doing? It's been a very long time since I've done a video um, and decided to randomly pick up the camera today and just see what was gonna happen. We've just arrived at Liverpool, uh, it took about three and a half hours from Somerset, which is where I'm based at the moment, because I've done my knee in, as you can see by this. Um, if you don't know, I've torn my ACL in my knee, I did it skiing, um, it's a bit frustrating, it's not the best thing in the world. I'm off work for a really long time, I'm not allowed to work, and I'm based back in Somerset, I'm not in London at the moment. And my brother Anthony works in theatre, if you didn't know, lives in Liverpool. Hey guys. Who's been in many a vlog before. Oh, was it recording at all? I said, is it recording? I said no. Good to, yeah. Go. Get the sunnies on so we can be like Casey Nice. No, because I forgot my sunglasses, so you're gonna make me You upset. forgot your sunglasses? Yeah. It's okay, because you got these. Oh, no way. Bang in. Oh, they're literally Casey sunglasses. <laughs> yes. Anthony, how long, how long have you been living in Liverpool for? Uh, coming up to... When I move up here, I moved up here in September 2012, so coming up to six... It's coming up to seven years in September. Jesus. Seven years, and what's the draw about Liverpool? It's the friendliest city in the UK. Boom. You heard it here first, folks. Friendliest city in the UK. Finally all parks up anyway, um, I'm going to redo that bit because I'm not sure if I did it properly. But um, yeah, Anthony's been living in Liverpool for seven years and the reason why I'm popping up now is because he's got a new job and he's touring with a theatre company, Anthony works in theatre. And yeah, we're coming up before Easter Sunday that we always spend in London with all of our friends and family. And so now we're in Liverpool for a couple of days before Easter. And it is hot. Hi there. Over there is the Anglican Cathedral. I believe it is the largest Anglican cathedral in Europe. Hashtag fun facts. At the other end of the street is the Catholic cathedral, which was finished around 1973 or four, so it's quite new. Both cathedrals are connected by a street called Hope Street. They're connected by Hope. Here we have the Anglican Cathedral of Liverpool. So insert Philip doing some voiceover stuff um, because I've got a new microphone. I'm going to do a whole video about this microphone. I'll show it to you later. Um, um, I'm going to do like a internal microphone test and an external microphone test because it only cost me £25. No, I really want a beer. Beer? Beer. Beer. Anthony used to when he first moved to Liverpool live here My and then went to university there. So you had a what? Roll out of bed. Roll out of bed, stroll across the street to get to work. It's quite cool, isn't it? Anthony went to this. Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts is what LIPA stands for and it was set up by the one and only Paul McCartney and Anthony received his dissertation from Paul McCartney and did he say anything to you Anthony? Well done mate A fun fact for all you um, Beatles fans or mediocre Be Beatles fans Beatles obviously originated from Liverpool it's where they grew up um, so there's George Harrison, Paul McCartney um, John Lennon but then many people don't know that the original drummer was not Ringo Starr. And I can't do the rest of the goat because I've forgotten what that guy's name is. Oh, I've forgotten what his name is. Anyway, Pete Best. And, um, was it Pete Best? Yeah, so Pete Best was the original drummer and they axed him last minute because he didn't look... He no, wasn't the part or something. Working. Anyway, so yeah. So... There's John again, the last. Look! And right here is the show that Anthony was doing. Oh, that is her. Oh, I was thinking of the wrong one. A lot of the stories about Pete is that he was too good looking and Paul and John weren't happy about it because they were the front men but all the girls liked the drummer and they were like we can't have a good looking drummer so they got Ringo in but as well as that they went to record their first album and he f started playing and everyone was like he's not quite good enough he's not sounding right he even says to himself that he wasn't having a bit of an off day so they said we'll get in our session drummer Ringo Richard Starkey and he'd played with them before in a couple of gigs when Pete couldn't make it got him in to record the album and then he became Ringo Starr and he was the Beatles drummer. You heard it here first if you didn't know about it. That's when you've heard it here. Now, there you go. 
We've ended up doing a little um, pub crawl, so we're on our second pint now in a nice little place with a gorgeous sunshine behind. And um, now we're going to be heading to a following place that Anthony goes to and gets a discount at. So that's nice, isn't it, Anthony? Yeah, and then a track to watch it. Got a mustache, mate. Yeah, I know. Beverages. Where are we going now, Ant? Hotel. Hotel. Metropolitan Cathedral, also is basically the Catholic Cathedral, known as Paddy's Wigwam, because there's a massive Irish settlement in Liverpool. So that one's Catholic, that one is Anglican. This one is obviously preferred by Catholics and people in our family. Because if you don't know, I was brought up a Catholic, so was Anthony. That's why however, however, this one's brand new, and that one's nice and old. So, fun fact, that one started years before this one, but they only, I think, opened... I think the only one was open four years or so before this. Really? Well, actually, maybe it opened no, after this. No, that can't be yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it rubbish. It wasn't completed until just before this one or something. This is where I work. The Everyman Theatre in Liverpool. Tell us a bit about the Everyman Company. The Everyman Theatre is for every man. Like a chain of theatres, no? No! Oh no? It's an independent theatre in Liverpool. Not to be confused with Everyman Cinemas. No! And they're just, different. They just Very opened different. up an Everyman Cinema in Liverpool and now everyone's getting confused from the Everyman Theatre. But the Everyman Theatre is the Everyman and Playhouse Theatre and we also run and manage the Playhouse Theatre in the city centre. Ah, that's why people are getting confused. And this is where dinner is going to happen. <laughs> How you doing guys? I'm back in my hotel room, finally got back, it's been a very fun evening. Went to go see my brother's play, which was awesome, Sweeney Todd, the Everyman Theatre in Liverpool. Had a really, really good time there. I've seen a lot of theatre productions at that theatre, the Everyman, and I can safely say it was one of the best things I've seen. It was in the round, which is where you have a stage in the middle, and then the audience uh, conferences the stage 360 degrees round, so you've got audience the entire way out. Anyway, tomorrow's Easter Sunday. We're going back to London. We've got a four and a half hour drive back to London tomorrow. Um, I also have to sort out my motorbike because someone decided to smash my number plates to bits while I've been off with my knee. And there's going to be a little update video, I think, probably soon um, with things like that and um, what's happening with work and um, my knee because I'm off flying. I'm working on a huge video similar to the motorbike trip video, but hopefully a lot, lot better in terms of how I make it. All about Canada and the Canadian Rockies. That's coming soon. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I hope you liked that short little snippet of um, Liverpool. Thanks for watching, thanks for giving me your time. If you haven't already, give this video a like. If you're not already, subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys really soon. Here we have the Anglican Cathedral of Liverpool.